Okay, so to get started with our painting, we're going to start with some house paint. Make sure you mix it up really, really well. And we're just going to drip some of that paint randomly throughout our canvas. Make sure you have a support on the back for all the mess. So I just put some plastic and just pour and pour and pour. Just making sure to get all of the surface covered in paint. Just pouring all over, just like this. I'm going to also fill in smaller gaps here in the corners and splash some of that paint on there, dripping it as I go along. Make sure you get the corners as well. Okay, so for the next step, we're going to take some sand. my sand and just sprinkle the sand right over the surface So once we're at this point, we're going to set it out to dry and make sure that it's nice and flat when you take it outside so that it can dry with the heat. And then we'll remove the sand once it's all completely dry. All right, so as a reference guide, you're going to need an image to transfer over to your canvas. So I'm going to be looking at this image here, just the inside part of the Mayan calendar and transferring that image over to my canvas. And you can do that by drawing it out or you can use a pencil or you can use a marker, something that can uh, work on this surface. It's very rough, so not all the lines will be able to be seen, but most of it will. Alright, so for the next step I have added some white acrylic paint here and we're going to start outlining our image with the acrylic paint so that we can have a relief. Just following the lines. So once you're done with the outline, then we can go ahead and start sprinkling some sand onto all of our lines that we just made. Just making sure to cover the whole thing with sand.
So as you guys can see, the texture is very rich and vivid in this painting. Um, this is a great technique for anybody who likes texture in their work of art. And um, you guys can uh, actually achieve this effect with the sand like I previously showed you on the video. But in the painting process, you will also need some turpinoid and you will need, of course, your hard bristle brush so that it can get into all the areas that are hard to get into. Just because it has so much texture, there's a lot of gaps and intervals that a normal brush wouldn't be able to get into there unless it's a hard bristle brush. Because you're going to be kind of uh, pressing nice and hard as you go into those areas. So make sure that you have a hard bristle brush, your turpinoid, and of course a towel because you're going to need it <laughs> all right so here we go our next step we're going to start painting it and i'm going to start with the body first so i'm going to use kind of like a tannish color for the body and then i'll do the rest of the other colors as well as the background and then the flooring over here so i'll just take it step at a time here we go